It's all hands on deck in Nanaimo as the port makes preparations to welcome the Seaborne Odyssey and MS Regatta to the docks. We've got the space, we've got the availability. We, Our residents are keen to see the ships here and welcome the, the tourists. A cruise terminal and dock was set up back in 2011 to drive economic development in Nanaimo, planned for use by cruise ships like this one back in 2019. The goal was to see 25 to 30 ships a year, but Nanaimo hasn't seen any cruises since the pandemic cancelled all six planned stops in 2020. The return has excited locals as Nanaimo continues to develop its tourism industry. The optimism was very high. Uh, two cruise ships in a year is very good, but uh, much like Oliver Twist, I think it's fair to say we want some more. The focus will be on bringing smaller ships to town and offering a unique and intimate experience. Cruise guests will be able to explore Nanaimo's waterfront, museums, and breweries. Thomas says that there will also be excursion packages for local wineries and trips to areas like Cathedral Grove. Well, it's a huge impact for the local economy from a tourism perspective. I mean, passengers get off cruise ships and they've got money burning a hole in their pocket and they want to spend it at our local businesses. Local businesses are excited at the prospect. The tourists really enjoy our waterfront, and so having the cruise ships be a part of that just makes it that much richer for all of us. Residents in Nanaimo say, bring it on. We introduce more tourists to the area because uh, we need more people downtown spending money. It's a beautiful spot. Welcome to Nanaimo. <laughs> Gives the smaller center some, you know, more interest. But my other thought is the traffic. I, I mean, it's all great if people come off the ships and stay local. The port already has four ships booked for the 2025 season and two more for 2026. Claire Palmer, CBC News, Nanaimo.